And I want to be fully transparent with you all. With my almost 20 years of recording, working in the studio, I have to say, when it comes to accessories for your gear, you're going to have to invest in that. What's up, Archie Beats here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. That's the old studio, but the gear is all the same. Well, there are a few new additions. We're almost done setting up the studio. I can't wait to show you guys the new lab and how I approached it or whatnot. But today's conversation is a very important one. I have to admit, when it comes to studio gear, specifically studio accessories, the things that hold all this stuff together i have trust issues and i have trust issues because <laughs> i've tore some stuff up and i'm sure some of you guys have made a mistake and you didn't have a certain thing secured and now you're left with having to reinvest or if you have insurance that's even better i have trust issues with mic stands there are so many out there and believe it or not there are a lot of you who always ask me, hey, what mic stand do you use? There are a lot of mic stands that I've tried and they just didn't work out. I'm not here to destroy anybody or talk negative about a brand, but if it's that bad, I will warn you guys, I don't deal with too many bad things. I test it first, but I'm here to uplift you all and make sure that you guys got the proper tools and amazing tools to get through your creative journey. And that's what we're here for. So mic stands, I use quite a few. I use the Ultimate Support, the 125, but my main one that I just started using, it is definitely my favorite stand of all. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. It is the Latch Lake Mic King 1100. And when I say this is an amazing stand, I'm gonna tell you guys why you should definitely consider getting this stand because I don't trust too many microphone stands with my microphones, even my inexpensive microphones around $100 or $200, let alone my, my three, $4,000 mics because if it breaks, you know, if it falls over or do something crazy, you, you don't wanna deal with that. And also I would like to thank today's sponsor of the video, DistroKid. To be honest, me being a self-sufficient artist, as you guys can see, I build my studio and I create everything in here from my songs to film composing to re-record mixing film and TV and commercials I release all of my music through DistroKid. DistroKid has so many resources such as uploading your music and releasing it at a speedy 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 rate. DistroKid is a resource you can release music videos they also have a mastering service called Mixia and they have an iOS app and with that new app you can upload your music from your phone and right now it's available on iOS OS, but they're working on an Android version right now. You can upload music from there. Like I mentioned, you can also check your stats. You can check your royalties and then you can turn on some push notifications so you can see the activity of your music moving from this app, whether you're getting royalties or whether some stats are coming in, you get those notifications. So, so be sure to check out DistroKid in the description below and use my link. Thank you. And I want to be fully transparent with you all. With my almost 20 years of recording, working in the studio, I have to say, when it comes to accessories for your gear, you're going to have to invest in that. If you get a cheap mic stand, it will bend over time. I don't care what brand it is. It's going to bend. It's going to break at the right at the bolts and the adjustment points. It's just not going to be a fun time. And then you're going to have to go out and buy another $10, $20 stand. It's always great to just invest. I just told you guys the mic stand that I just started using, but I also told you guys about the Ultimate Support 125. The Ultimate Support 125 25 i've had it for eight years two of them they didn't break down i put my u87 on it the atlantis on it from loud audio the neve se neve microphone and these are really heavy mics and they purchased them in 2015 but recently about three months ago i did the sweetwater rig builders and i noticed that um mitch gallagher shout out to mitch gallagher um, he was using this mic stand over there and um it was latch lake i've never heard of them before it's a bit expensive it's 539 dollars but when I say I can adjust at multiple points, it has latches at all the important points and it's actually pretty mod friendly as well. And it secures the cables. It's a pretty cool heavy duty mic stand. And from the reviews, I've never seen too many mic stands with perfect reviews. Um, I can tell you I've been using this for three months. You guys know I normally take stuff for two weeks and this mic stand has been just 
fantastic and i want to relate it to you guys because this is one of the most requested videos so i wanted to definitely give that information to you guys i really hope that this video helped you guys out out there comment below if you have comment below what mic stand do you use and how is it holding up for you um don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and so you won't miss another video and also a major shout out to our sponsor distro kid and if you guys are interested in any of these mic stands be sure to check the description below i have them listed down there you guys have been absolutely fantastic don't forget to be great and create. This is your Bartra Beats, and I'm signing off.